Alright guys, Will here from ZaltechReviews.com uh, Today I'm going to be taking a look at a couple of watches from 960 uh, A UK based brand that kind of specialises in military themed watches I've had a look at a few other watches in the past and I've always been rather impressed some of, their, some of their designs are a bit out there <laughs> uh, But, I mean that's what makes them unique uh, I've known the owner for quite a while now uh, Christian A uh, good few years now And he always sends me or shows me or speaks to me uh, On social media Show me his new designs and blah 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 so, as I was saying, it's not a review today, it's just like a first look kind of overview at these two watches. There is another watch coming, uh, it's a field watch, uh, and I have seen pictures of that and it does look very nice. That That is more my cup of tea, so to speak. So, the first one I'm going to look at, as I say, I've got two watches here. The first one is the Diver. This packaging, by the way, is not what comes with the Diver. It's this here. It's like what they call it, a mine bag. Something like that, I can't remember. But it sent me this just to show you. I've not took it out of the plastic. But it's really good quality canvas. Anyway, I'll put that down there. This is just a canvas roll, I believe. I and I'll show you the diver. It's a bronze diver. I'm just I'm not going to show you the accessories and all that. No, no, no. I'll just get straight into it, into the watch. And there we have it. A bronze diver. Uh, my light, my lights are not that great today. I, I like this. I've got to say, out of the two that he sent me so far, this is my favourite. I like this diver. Uh, bronze diver, C U S N A bronze. Really nice, really good strap as well. Good quality, nice matching hardware and all that it's signed. Everything else. Really nice. That's way too dark. Hang on a minute. A few moments later. Yeah, you can see the watch a bit better now. I've right, been doing it in one take, so there'll be a lot of get I'll probably sort it all out in the edit. Uh, really nice watch. As I say, 40 20. Classic size. Nice short lug to lug. Uh, rather slim as well Miyota 9015 movement inside Sapphire crystal Ceramic insert And it's a countdown insert As you can see I like that, I like that approach Stainless steel case back so you don't get any uh, that green tinge for the bronze on your wrist it's very nice uh, screw down crown and all that obviously anyway I like this I've got to say and I have wore it <coughs> fits my wrist perfect can't go wrong with a 40 20 build quality is always really good uh, just let me have a look it's about 12 mil thick I believe Slightly under. I'm just having a look through the notes. You get the leather strap. There's also a fabric leather backed rubber strap and also a seat uh, seat belt needle. What's this? Oh, there's one in there. 
filter and frame. It's a good idea. Polishing cloth, canvas, leather. I mean, the, le the leather that's on this and out. It's <coughs> Excuse me. It's really good quality. Lovely stitching. And signed there, as you can see. I'll show it the right way up. 960. Genuine leather. Aye, really nice. This isn't the package. What's that in here? A few moments later. What's this? Black rubber strap. Nice. You get all this with the watch, by the way. What's the price of the thing? Oh, there's only 80 of these made. Some of them are already sold. Let's see if I can zoom in a wee bit. I can't fucking zoom in with your blooming gloves on. Yeah, that's better. Ah, uh, you get all these straps with the watch. Only 80 made. Uh, oh, it's 200 metres water resistance. I've just seen that in the notes. Professional review. It's not a review. Anyway, price £550. I think it's worth it. Because the build quality is there. I like the design as well. I like that splash of colour with the orange and that on the black. Look, see there? A textured dial. Nice. In fact, this doesn't have a 9015. This has a 9039. My auto movement, uh, movement. It's really nice. Nice, smooth, sweet. Aye, I like it. This is my favourite of the two that are here. But as I say, I think the fuel watch will be my overall favourite. Right, let me just get that out of the way. Yeah, it's like a wee... Briefcase type thing. Good solid uh, things on the edge there, and also the. I'll show you the front. These are like. They look like brass, but they're like aged brass, if you know what I mean. Anyway, this is. The packaging that you'll get with this one. In fact, let me check my notes on this one as well. This is another 40 mil. And obviously, as you can see, it's black DLC on a bracelet. Put that back in there. All right, good solid uh, packaging. Oh. Right, this one. <clears throat> Where's my friggin' notes? Right, there's only 50 of these being made. And it's all brushed black DLC. There's no polishing or that anywhere. It's a really nice bracelet, really good build quality. Tolerances are nice and tight. No wiggle there. Like a oyster style bracelet, male end link, but it does slope down perfectly. This is this has a Miyota nine zero one five inside, as you can see, because it has the date at six, color matched, all good. As you, as you could tell, unique design. It's a sandwich, a sandwich style, by the way. Uh, let me check my notes. You also get a black silk cloth strap and a rubber strap as standard. 
Price of this one? Oh, no fucking idea because he's no tell me. Uh, nice and slim as well. I think this is about 11 mil thick. In fact, let me check that. Just check the thickness. 11.2. Nice and slim. I quite a minimalist aesthetic on this one. It's nice, so it's, it's well made. The only problem I've got with this is that fucking thing. Butterfly clasp on this style of watch, it doesn't work. In my opinion. Should just be like a, a kind of slim diver's clasp on this one if you ask me. I just hate butterfly clasps, they just do my tits in man. You can never get an exact fit and there's no half links or anything with this. Nope. The links aren't massive anyway, I'm pretty sure you get a half decent fit, but I just can't go butterfly clasps. I think they should be banned. Uh, screw down crown on this as well. It's another 4020 by the way. You get all the straps included. Uh, three is standard. 100 metres water resist on this one. Uh, I've showed you the height. Aye, different. Nice and slim, good size. Well, the actual design, where, what does it say about that again? The face design is taken from the suitcase radio. Different, but simplistic. Sandwich dial, as I mentioned. I'm pretty sure I've missed something else. I can't remember. Anyway, it's just a quick video today just to give you like a first look at these two watches. Where's the diver? There it is. Oh, just to confirm. Because they never tell me what was the thickness of the diver. 12.2. So 12.2 .2 for the diver, 11.2 for th this one. Uh, I think out of the two I prefer the diver. Uh, I mean that design of the dial is unique but that's what they're going for it's a whole military thing uh, like the suitcase radio stuff like that right, thanks very much for sending these in uh, Christian uh, once, it, once it, the field watch comes in I'll I'll try and I'll keep I've not had these watches for long, but I'll try and keep the field watch for a bit longer so I can do a full uh, review, a proper review of the field one. I think you like the field watch when it when it arrives. It's definitely something I would wear. I would wear the diver as well. Right, as I say, just a quick video, guys. Um, please like, share, subscribe. Comment below if you've got any questions and I'll try my best to answer every single one. And, and I'll see you in the next video. Toodles!